The key element here that you should remember is that proteins are your source of nitrogen because you don't get nitrogen from anywhere else but protein. It's in the air we breathe, but we can't take it out of the air and absorb it. It's, it's inert in, in the air. Okay? So nitrogen, our source of nitrogen comes from protein. We don't get it from carbs, we don't get it from fats, we get it from protein. And, and we talk about a little bit later, we'll talk about this idea of protein balance. If you're in a positive nitrogen balance, or you're in a negative nitrogen balance, that indicates your, your protein status. If you're in a positive nitrogen balance, you're said to be in an anabolic state. A positive nitrogen balance equals anabolic state. Right? Positive nitrogen balance equals anabolic. And that means your body is retaining more protein or more nitrogen than it's excreting. And if you're a bodybuilder or somebody who's interested in growing your and enlarging your muscles, this would be a critical element. You would see this also in children, people who are growing and maturing. You would expect them to be in a positive nitrogen balance. And it's going to be dependent, in part, on their diet. Right? Negative nitrogen balance is catabolic. Or basically, you're excreting more protein you're excreting more protein than you are retaining. You're, you're losing more protein than you're retaining. And therefore, you're losing lean body tissue. You're losing lean body mass. Not a desirable effect if you're trying to be an athlete or trying to be strong or grow. Okay? So positive nitrogen balance is anabolic. <coughs> Negative nitrogen balance is catabolic. 